Gods. Today, man, today I'm going to do my top five golf courses that I like. This is Kadan's top five golf courses that I like. So stick with me right here. Cars, golf, and cigars. You see I'm already rocking the mogul golf apparel hat. And let's get to it. As you can see, one of my cars is missing right now, but it'd be right back. The S-Class is missing. It would normally be right here, but it's not here right now. So we still got these other two in the back, the other two projects, you know, just to keep you updated. I told you, we're working on the 740. We're gonna bring it back. She's still ugly, but she's still mine. All right, <laughs> everybody knows about my 300Z X, which I love immensely and can't wait for her to get painted. A couple of more months before the, after the spring should be painted up. But let's go inside the car so we can blow a stick and talk about these top five golf courses. Let's go. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome back to Cars, Golf, and Cigars. I'm your man, Kadon Sterling. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so very much for checking in with the channel, paying attention to what I'm doing, paying attention to how we're building this culture together between Cars, Golf, and Cigars for all the enthusiasts for all the people around the world who have the passion for all three, who also understands the networking potential between all three. But today, because spring is coming, so I said, let me jump on it early. Let me talk about my top five golf courses that I particularly like around the country, all right? So that's what we about to do today. Kadon's top five golf courses around the country. And I couldn't set this um, episode off correctly unless I was rocking my own gear. Mogul Golf Apparel, you see the gold MG. Man, when I tell y'all how excited I am for this golf apparel to drop this year, it's 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 personal to me. You know, I've been I've been designing this golf apparel for almost nine years. So when I tell you things don't happen overnight, they don't happen overnight. But you gotta keep going forward, you can't give up on yourself, and you gotta keep trying until it come until it happens. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna hold back. Let's get started. Stick with me. Kadon Sterling's top five golf courses right here. All right, welcome back, welcome back. You know we can't do anything until we spark something, right? So let's get it going. Best part of the day. Best part of the day right there. All right. I ain't got to talk no more. I can stop right now. No, let's get right into it. Kadan's top five golf courses around the country. Now, all of them I haven't played at. <clears throat> some of them I have, some of them I haven't. But I've definitely seen all of them. And um, I'm a witness to all five of these. So I just want to go over them with you. Now, everybody may have their own thing, but I got my own. Now, let's start right at the top. Number five, Indian Well Golf Resort out in Palm Springs, California. Beautiful, beautiful resort. It's a PGA Tour resort, so you definitely, definitely seen them on on TV because you know the PGA runs through their through their resort and through their course. The number one course that they have out there, um, I believe, is the Celebrity Course, and that's the name of it, Celebrity Course. It's decent. It's very decent. It's like maybe six, seven hundred football fields long. Um, the scoring system is simple on it. And I really have nothing negative to say. It's number five. It's not It's not number one. But because of everything that they offer you with the amenities, makes it number five for me. Because it's a beautiful, you know, if you've been to Palm Springs, California, you know Palm Springs is beautiful anyway. It's just a home of golf courses. Everywhere you turn is a golf course in Palm Springs. So, Indian Well Golf Resort. They made my top five. Pricey. Yes, they could be pricey. Um, I would say they go anywhere between $320 per person all the way up to like $1,700. All 
Now, it all depends on what packages you get and how long you stay. Remember, there's a golf course resort. So when you book to play there, you're normally staying for a minimum of two nights. So, of course, that all goes along with what kind of, what kind of suites, what kind of you're staying in. You know, what do you want in your package? What do you, um, if you want to have your spa, spa days in, inside a, a golf day. So that all determines. So it, it's pricey according to whoever you are. I always tell everybody, ain't, nothing's expensive. To somebody who can afford it so if you can afford it it's not expensive there's plenty of other golf courses that will cost you a lot more than seventeen hundred dollars um to stay <clears throat> but i'm talking about you staying for at least four or five nights and stuff like that per person or what have you so indian well golf resort in palm springs i'm gonna have photos of each one of these places so you can see them right after that stick with me let's get to number four Number four, St. Marlowe's Country Club. Okay. Now, you notice I didn't say resort, country club. St. Marlowe's Country Club in Duluth, Georgia, is a semi-private country club, meaning that it's open to the public if you become a member, if you pay for your membership. But it's basically... It's a country club. It's a residential country club. It's not a resort. Not like Indian Wells where it's a resort, basically hotels. No, this is a gated community, beautiful gated community, with a beautiful golf course at the St. Marlowe's. And the lounge is, oh my God, the lounge is, the pro shop is nice too, man. Everything is beautiful in there. Now, this is a, a spot that I know about personally because I've played there. Um, and... The first thing I wanted to do by playing there was buy a house there because I kept saying, how beautiful is this? You wake up and your house is right off the golf course. Now, of course, you have to, you know, design. Designing wise, I was scared about your back windows being broken. But it's a great course. It was designed by a gentleman by the name of David Griffith, who also designed the Chateau Elon golf course, who also designed another golf course that's on my list, Georgia National, which is a PGA Tour course. But um, St. Marlo, man, St. Marlo is beautiful, man. It's a 72 par course. So you have plenty of room to play best ball. You have plenty of room to have a, a tremendously 18 hole day. And it's not too many bad things I can say about it. For the people that live in St. Marlo, man, you, you, I mean, that's not the only one. There's a couple of country clubs that are. They're not PGA Tour courses, but they're just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Um, Sugarloaf. That's not on the list, but I'm just giving it to y'all. The Sugarloaf Country Club Golf Course is beautiful. Beautiful. Everybody knows about Gwinnett County or what have you in Georgia. They know that they have some of the most beautiful pieces of property in this country. So they made number four, St. Marlo. Let's get into number three. Now, let's go all the way down on the map, all the way to Bowling Green, Florida. Now, if we're going to go to Bowling Green, F Florida, there's <laughs> only one place to go. Stream Song. Stream Song Golf Resort is more of a modern golf resort. You know, they had three major architects for them. They hired Tom Duack, um, Bill Core and Gil Hance. And if you know these gentlemen, you know these guys are the guys, these are the guys, you know, these are the these are those dudes that design and architect golf courses. Um PGA golf courses. They they these three guys really they know what they're doing. Okay. And what I like about Stream Song while well, we puff this um house cognac stick from Rosario's. What I like about Stream Song is the fact that they got three courses. They got a red course, a black course, and a blue course. From what I understand, the black course is probably the most difficult course there. 
because there's a lot more bunkers, there's a lot more hills, the way it was designed. Um, I think Tom Duak actually designed the Black Horse. Um, the way it's designed, the way he did it, it's basically levels, it's ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs through the whole course. So it's no easy hole. You know, there's no easy, no easy nothing. There's no easy birdies. There's no easy pause. Um, everything is going to give you a difficulty, a challenge, because everything is at an angle and everything's up and down. And if you're an expert golfer, that's what you want. That's what. And if you're not an expert golfer, and you're, you're probably damn good. You know, your handicap is probably amazing. That's what's going to challenge you, you know. So, Stream Song in Bowling Green, Florida. If you go down there, it's a great resort. They have an amazing, amazing clubhouse. All right. Now, like I said, they're more new. A lot of these golf results, golf clubs, golf results, and golf courses have been around for 60 years or better, some 100 years. Um, they haven't been around that long. I do know that they was the, they did have, I think it was the blue course that was given 2018's newest golf course design of the year at that time. You can do, do your research. I might be wrong, but that's what I believe I remember because I always wanted to go there. I've never been there. Now, this one I've never been to physically, but I've absolutely studied it. I, I plan on going down there as soon as I can. Um, there's no other reason for me to go to Bowling Green, Florida, if I'm not going down there to golf. And if I'm not wearing local golf apparel, then I'm, no reason for me to be there besides that. But I definitely want to see it because I want to see, I'm really intrigued by clubhouses. Let me tell you the truth. Clubhouses and pro shops, especially because I sell merchandise. So I definitely want to see exactly how they handle their business and how their customer service is. But they definitely make my number three, Stream Song Golf Resort in Bowling Green, Florida. You got to check them out. Let's stick with me. Let's get to number two and let's get to number one. Number two, we got to go to North Carolina for this. Number two, without a shadow of a doubt, Pinehurst Golf Resort in Pinehurst, North Carolina. Now we talking about old school golf course. All right. They've been around since 1895. We talking about old society golf course. We're talking about when black people couldn't play at this golf course, golf course. Let's keep it really, really 100. All right. Well, you had to be a caddy. To, to play there when, when they first opened and even in the 50s you know but as courses go an amazing golf course an amazing amazing history of a golf course with so many champions so many champions have played at Pinehurst they have 11 golf courses right 11 which is a lot but the crazy part about it is is only one of those courses that everybody wants to play at. Everybody. And that's number two. Course number two. That's that's the championship course. That's the PGA course. That's the that's where you make your name for yourself course. Course number two at Pinehurst. Now, I've never played at Pinehurst. I've been there, but I've never played there. So, that's definitely one of my goals this summer too, man. I'm going to be real busy this whole summer. I got a lot of things I have to do. But I'm going to be also real busy promoting my golf um, my golf apparel, mogul golf apparel. You know, the hats, the t-shirts, the gloves, we have it all. And I'm going to really, really be concentrating on that as well as giving y'all the best content I can give you all summer long. But this is a great old school course. I mean, when you get there, you feel like you're going back in time a little bit when it comes to golf. Because this is when you really separated real golfers from, you know, the weekend golfer. And where the weekend golfer learns from the pros how to become a real golfer. Because everybody's there together. You know, there's 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 definitely um there's definitely a feeling of community there. I'm glad that it's definitely changed from the times where, like I said, I couldn't play there. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, you definitely get that, especially when you go to the Ryder Cup Lounge. The Ryder Cup Lounge is walls and walls and walls of old school golf stories, old school golf um, memories, champions. You know, everybody done got drunk there that that won a world championship. Let's just be very honest. You know, everybody done been drunk there. Everybody done told some stories there. It is what it is. Um, it is a resort. Uh, so you can stay there. You can book a couple of nights. You can book a couple of teas. And I think they range from anywhere about 225 to 30 a night per person, but they can go all the way up to $2,200. Depends if you get in a villa, depends on, you know, what your accommodations requirements are, whatever they are for you and your team, you know? So I would definitely advise anybody who's serious about their golf if you're going to take a chance, go down to North Carolina, book some time, Pinehurst, you won't be you won't be sorry at all, man. Bring your good clubs, though. This is an old school spot. Don't come in there looking raggedy. You got you to gotta be sharp. You got to be right. All right? You know, it's for the more old school fashion guys. You know what I mean? And I want to see everybody have a good time. So they made my number two. They have a beautiful course. All 11 courses are beautiful, but number two is where you want to play. Course number two, Pinehurst. Now let's get to number one. Now we are back. <laughs> and number one, mm, Kadan's top five golf courses in the country right now. Without question, I won't even hold any kind of like, I ain't trying to hold y'all up. Without question, Pebble Beach Golf Links Golf Resort is absolutely the most beautiful golf course in this country, in my opinion. Now, there's, there's, there's a couple of rivals to it. Georgia National is phenomenal. But for me, for the golf experience that I like, the golf experience that means something to me when I'm out when I'm out playing. And I didn't get a chance to play last year because I had ankle surgery. So I'm really itching to go play golf. Holes 10, 13, 17, and 18. If you know anything about Pebble Beach Golf Resort, you know number one that this is the spot that everybody wants to play at. It is it is absolutely astonishing beautiful all right and also those holes i just named are amazing amazing when it comes to the scenery and i love golf because i love the scenery i love how golf courses are man um are manicured I, I love the atmosphere to me you can never have a bad time or be in a bad attitude playing golf you just can't mm. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. When you're losing a whole lot of money, you can be in a real bad attitude. But I'm trying to tell y'all, this spot right here, man, y'all need to go check it out. For all my golfers, for all my cigar lovers, all my car people, Pebble Beach and Pebble Beach, Florida, Pebble Beach Golf Links Golf Resort, number one, they've been around since 1919, like at least I think in February, February, February 1919 is when they first opened either february 10th or february 12th either way once again old school golf course old school mindset there was a time when we couldn't play there black people couldn't play there but now tiger woods has definitely won there other black golfers have won there <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's not the same anymore the way it was back in the day but i'm just trying to tell y'all this is an immaculate golf course i love watching pebble beach just to watch it, whether they have the Masters there, whether they have the U.S. Open, which the U.S. Open will be there again this year in July 2021. Um, July 11th is the U.S. Open for golf. That tournament will be there. I love watching it on TV just because I love the atmosphere. So if you're not able to get down there, just watching it for somebody like myself who actually loves the sport of golf, man, tremendously a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place, man. Oh, my God. You Now... Just because it's beautiful don't mean it's an easy course. Now, everybody know the closer hole on the 18th. I think that's a par five. The closer course on that is it's, it's hard. 
Because you got the elements going with you. That wind is always going to be there. The ocean is right there, on right on the side of your right, right hand side of your face. You know what I'm saying? When you're on the green trying to putt. The ocean is there. And the ocean is there. I mean, the wind is there. You know, getting on the green is not that easy. You have to know how to really, really play golf to play at Pebble Beach. Because you'll you'll just ruin your whole day. Everything you hit is going to go towards the water. It's going to go towards one of the sand bunkers. And it's over. So you have to know exactly your game. And you have to have a great caddy with you who knows the course. You have to study that course way before that you actually go in there and try to make money on that course. Now, the great thing about it is it is a public course. It's not private. Anybody can book tea time at Pebble Beach. Um, and they treat everybody great. You know, the accommodations are great. They're all pricey and they're going to be pricey for a reason. You know, and sometimes their prices change, but they are pricey. I don't know the exact price right now because it might be different from what it was last year, but expect to spend some money if you're going to play at Pebble Beach, especially if you're going to do 18. If you're going to do a whole 18, if you're going to do a nine whole day, then, you know, it's cool. You know, a lot of the holes are par fours. Um, I know the 18th is a par five, um, but a lot of the holes are par fours. So you have a good chance of getting a decent, a decent handicap out of there. You know, if you know how to, if you know how to hit that ball right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But there you go. That's my top five right there. You know, personally, I'm a member at Trophy um, in, uh, in Dakula, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my home course. And um, I definitely like St. Marlowe, like I said. But that's my top five. All right? Right here in Cars, Golf, and Cigars. Your man, Kadon Sterling. Don't forget to hit, hit that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Do your comments. Tell everybody about us. We here. It's 2021. We're going to have a great time, man. Right here. Stick with me.